Hello everyone on the interwebs, my name is Kortek and today we're going to be watching a StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm replay. Seeing our red Protoss spawning in the upper left corner of the map, hailing from Finland I believe. Playing for Team Neurosoft, it is Welmu versus our orange Zerg in the bottom right corner of the map, hailing from Ukraine I believe. Playing for Team Acer. It is Bly. Now the map is indeed Whirlwind. No, Belshir Vestige. It kind of looks like Whirlwind, but it is indeed Belshir Vestige. Have a little ramp here that leads to this kind of area. You have to turn around to get to the expansion, but it's still a long way to actually get to the expansion. But in front of the expansion, you have a huge open area right here. And you have three chokes, three ramps, three entrances, and three exits to go to. You can take this one, which leads to this part of the map, the right part of the map, this expansion, and all that. You can kind of get over here to harass. You can take this ramp, which is kind of a valley thing, which just leads to this left part of the map. Or you can take this ramp, which leads to the outer, to the around part of the map, but it leads to an expansion here, your third expansion so it is pretty nice to take but this expansion has a huge choke here partially covered by rocks and you can destroy these rocks if you so need to <clears throat> but probably not you want that defense advantage now Bly seems to be going for some sort of hatchery first not a lot of pressure but well move is going for double gas right early on now just to point this out this map has a kind of three rush distances you can t you can attack through here or here, it's pretty much the same, but it goes to the watchtowers. And there's rocks here, which pretty much just disables, disables any sort of early and really quick rush distance uh, early on. But you can destroy this if you, ha if you want to have some sort of advantage in terms of rush distance in the mid to late game. Now if you want to attack, but you don't want to get detected by the watchtowers in case you don't have that map control, you can try to go around and just destroy destroy and just enter the the main base or the expansion without ever triggering or without ever hitting the radius of the watchtowers. The cybernetic score is made for Wellmu. We might actually be seeing some sort of Stargate play, but now the Zelda is out. Wellmu is almost completely saturated. On, only two probes miss I mean one probe missing in each gas. I I think it just wants that timing the gas timing correctly. And Bly's expansion is done. He's doing double queen at the moment. Uh, an expansion being made for Wellmu right early on. Well, not that early on. About 25 supply, which against Zerg is it's a bit weird. Most Protoss players against Zerg, at least in, War in Wings of Liberty, and a bit in Heart of the Swarm, they do double, not double, uh, forge fast expand, which is a great way to defend against pressure early on. It's a great way to get that economic advantage or to even out the economy between both players it's just typically what you do now the forge here is being done the gateway as well so this is kind of a forge expand but it's not a an extremely fast one it's just a a nice one and just a couple weapons we made the mothership core is done it's about to do some scouting he sees that overlord that sentry could just go and easily destroy that overlord it actually be awesome Overwhelming because it's 100 minerals and it's a, a supply difference that Bly cannot compensate because he's only making the overlord now. He can just use the killing the overlord to his advantage. It actually be a pretty nice advantage. Third expansion being made for Bly already right off the bat. Now the sentry is indeed destroying the overlord, making that two sentries. The Phoenix there, the Luzon Phoenix, is being made. Sent scouting, but I think Wellmu saw it being hallucinated. So uh, it's not that big of a throw in terms of, well how should I say it, in terms of just putting the player off, but he, he can still get the scouting information that he needs, nowhere yet being made for Bly, but he, well he doesn't have the gas, he just went for the early upgrade and uh, the circling speed, so he doesn't have the gas to actually get a lair, but he's going, he's pretty soon going to get one, I assume, probably about now. If it's the timing right, which he did, the lair is starting to get made, starting to get done. The third expansion 
here is almost complete. A pylon here, a, almost a proxy pylon, but it's, more, it's closer to Elmo's base than Bly's base. Supply is all awesomely evened out, 50 to 52. So there's no huge difference there. A couple of zerg being made to defend a roach warren to defend another gas to get a bit of a more economic advantage. Well, he also needs the gas if he wants to get the roaches because he doesn't have the economy at the moment to just support main roaches. The zergs are going to spot the attack. He's going to have to run back. He's going to need some more defense. The zealots are going to are just going to chop through those zerglings. He's not going to be able to defend. He needs some more defense. But for now, all he can make is Zerglings and maybe a couple of spine crawlers. but it's not worth it because it doesn't have drones where he needs them to be. The uh, Whelm is actually, I think it's going to be able to destroy this expansion. Maybe even just mass recall back home. The Queen is made. Now I can actually do some damage. The four shields here were amazing. The sentries are trapped, but they are ranged. But one or two Zerglings got in. And the Zeltan are talking to me. So all the sentries are dying. Well, only one remaining, but still... That is a ton of damage being made. All the sentries died. Not only has the zealots, but he needs fly and needs roaches to be able to defend against those zealots because zerglings they just chop through that like meat, like sushi, like all, like, just like fish, like butter. That was the word I'm looking for. Butter. They just chop through zerglings like butter, but not roaches. But still, if they're not trapped like this then he can just get away and the thing with roaches they can micro away from the zealots if if he's careful now the robotics bay is being made for Wellmu already right off the bat so he's gonna have some pretty some pretty early on colossi which is not going to do wonders against t this type of army composition from why he doesn't have the spire yet to de make extra some defense and mass recall to the base trying to defend this zergling pressure well called by Welmo, he already did the damage he needed to do, destroying that third. Maybe he could take a third of his own, but his army is pretty immobile versus his amount of Zerglings. So maybe he's not going to be that good. The Immortal is being made, the Robotics are already doing some damage. He's He is still... He's going to drop! Believe it or not, he's going to actually do a drop on Bly's base. Maybe even the Force Shield trick where you Force Shield the ramp and the reinforcements cannot come in. That is actually a pretty nice trick. It has ruined many games for many laddering people, actually. The roaches, that's a ton of roaches. 15 roaches here in the battle. The Photon Cannon is getting targeted first, but the forces are amazing. Trapping most of the army, the Zerglings are rendered useless. They cannot do anything. And the roaches have just taken a lot of hits, especially from this Immortal. Three kills already on this Immortal. The upgrades are heavily, well, not heavily, but they are in, in Wellmoo's advantage. Because has 1-1 one, one, while Bly only has 1-0 and it's not getting any more. This forge got destroyed though so no more upgrades at least for a while for Wellmu. That expansion, that third expansion is getting thrown down again for Bly. The drop here happened and Bly did take a lot of damage, a lot of mining time that didn't actually happen. The Zealots are here, a lot of them almost died, well two of them almost died but, but two more are left intact. The Spire is being made for Bly, but I'm afraid it might actually be too late. The Colossi are already in the battle, and they're just being made. One Colossus and already another Immortal. If Supply can actually per permit that, or permit and that I can actually allow. Uh, uh, the drop here continues. He just keeps doing the damage, and the Queen cannot actually destroy that that war prison now the battle the, the units are starting to pile up for Wellmo the all of Wellmo's army is starting to come to this place and he just thinks alright all, all he has is that I can defend that easily but because he knows that he's going to send the rest of the army down here he's gonna take the event to drop and it's gonna do a lot of damage but in the units they're not here to defend only a queen and a couple of drones but they'll just take a lot of damage the portions there are amazing Bly did not survive, he doesn't have any sort of army whatsoever, all he has is a couple of spine crawlers that he's making at the moment. The drones here are not doing anything, they're being killed, they're being chopped through like butter from these zealous units. The units lost have is heavily favoring Wellmu at around 2,000 resources and, and it's and it keeps getting up and it keeps getting higher and higher. The extractor is being destroyed, maybe a couple of mutants are being made, no, they're just mainly spine crawlers, but at this point, I don't think that Wellmo can actually defend against this, even though he's already starting at the Mutas, and just a 
purple more muted. This expansion here, right in front of Welmo's base, pretty much. It's not gonna do anything. Maybe just throw them off, kind of. The zealots are, sh are starting to chase through them. Why borrowed in the hopes of Welmo not actually having anything to see to scout it? But Elmo did, he had an observer. A lot of stalkers here, so the mutas are not gonna be any sort of trouble versus Wellmo. And it's just he's just dropping through the space and drones are getting killed by the Colossi. Colossus. The lair is also getting destroyed. The drones are getting chased and are not escaping. No chance of escaping whatsoever. Okay, so workers killed. 56 workers killed by 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 Wellmo, so I'm afraid that that it's actually too late. Now this army composition is just heavily favored uh, Wellmo, and of course the Colossus and the Immortals. He just had enough to actually stop those roaches in the force fields. I believe was, were just amazing, along with this drop action. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.